All right, welcome back. We are in Starfield. They have a new patch out. The Creation Club has dropped. Uh, I'm not going to get into the conversation about it being just a giant microtransaction hell, but it is what it is. There is a new HAB. This HAB costs 10 US dollars. Or if you bought the big whammy $100 Starfield package originally or sometime after it came out, you will get the 1,000 points that it requires in order to purchase this HAB. It is called Ancient Mariner, and it is a 2x2. Two two. It is in your HAB section wherever you go. I've It cost about how much so a 1x1 one one does, 784. So Now, on placement, there is one spot, one corner, that is completely free of anything. You will not destroy any part of the interior if you come in right here or right here. A third option that wouldn't be too bad, this is for horizontal, is this point right here on both of these. Doesn't matter if it's the uh, normal module I have or if it's the empty. You're going to lose a little bit of an upright, but I think you're probably going to be okay with it. Uh, I will show you the difference. Now, if you are going up or down, as long as you're not using this spot, top or bottom, for the unit that's put together by Bethesda. Understand this is a Bethesda paid mod. This is not uh, some random modder, uh, modder that created something that we're buying. This is from Bethesda. Uh, the rest of the three, you shouldn't have too many problems except for this one. Sorry, this one over here in the that will uh, nuke something out as well if you use a ladder in this spot. So don't use a ladder here. If you're going up or down in the main module, use it here, preferably. Granted, I realize it's hard to pick ladders unless you drop it right on top of the spot, but you understand. So let's go take a look at them. Uh, to let you know, is it going to be worth your 10 real human dollars that you have to work hard for for a single hab in a game that has over 100 different habs? I'm up for a little adventure. All right. Here it is with all the stuff it comes with. These doors keep getting opened by our crew members who are too busy walking around to realize I'm making a video. Alright, so you got this little uh, <laughs> cute little frontier in a bottle, a nice display shelf, some, uh, I don't know, what would this be? Lead glass, leaded glass kind of look. Some interesting lights. It's a woody. Very nice bed. These uh, cool doors. Hey there. Glad to see you again. This is what I meant. If you come in in this spot, you're going to mess up a lot of things on either one of them. You get some uh, rugs. Cool. Some new rugs record player that does work. Sounds like a like a sea shanty or something. The chaise do, do work. You can sit on them. You cannot sit on the Ottomans. And this is under um, coffee table. Cool clock. This was the optional spot. I don't think people will be too upset by losing stuff right there. This side you would lose a little bit. And then the thing everybody was hoping for, unlimited storage. However, <laughs> it does not count for your ship. Everything that's in there cannot be used to craft even in the uh, decoration system. So, if you want to decorate, you got to take it out of that. So, let's go over and check out the empty variant. Alright, now let's check out the 
22 items that were added. I'm going to turn my light off here because I've got enough light in this spot. So we've got a candelabra. We have a frontier in a bottle. You've got the uh, vintage record player. The clock, a clinometer. Uh, someone who knows boats would know what that is. I do not. You have this, I think this one's the barometer. You got a sconce. There is a ceiling lantern. There are two chandeliers. There's this one here. And there's this one here. We have the same thing. This is still also unlimited. However, once again, it does not count if you are going to build something. You get a wooden weapons rack. Very cool. Here's your two rugs. I certainly dig the rugs. They help to uh, quote unquote carpet your uh, space very well. The chaise lounge that he is enjoying quite well. The bed, very nice bed. It's kind of a bummer that this can't be used to sit on or something maybe. A couple of tables. And then the final thing, this is under tables, uh, coffee tables ends up being end table. So 22 separate items, two halves, an empty and a regular. Um, do I think it's worth 10 bucks? I, I would say if you bought the $99 version of Starfield, this might be a good, uh, a reasonable thing to spend on if you are real deep into shipbuilding. But I'll say that now that modding is out, it's official, officially supported, assuming modders haven't completely abandoned Bethesda at this point. A lot of them said they were going to. I imagine they're going to build better versions of this stuff anyway and fix a lot of the problems that we have, like door and ladder placement and all that. So up to you. I don't know that I would have bought this if I wasn't doing it to showcase to you. Uh, I'll, I'll let you decide as to whether or not you consider this to be worth $10. Thanks for watching.